Hello everyone, it's January 28th, a chilly winter day here in Seoul. I'm Son ji and these are your top stories. South Korean President Moon Jae-in outlined the country's measures for tackling COVID-19 as well as supporting those hurt during the pandemic. In a virtual speech for the World Economic Forum, President Moon said the country's economy is already showing signs of recovery, but the government will continue to focus on measures to help those hurt by the crisis and to bring about long-term inclusiveness through the so-called Korea New Deal. He also emphasized the importance of international solidarity in overcoming the crisis. 한국은 전 세계와 함께 위기를 극복하고자 하는 강한 의지를 갖고 있으며 국제 사회의 연대와 협력에 적극 동참할 준비가 되어 있습니다. 방역 모범 국가로서 코로나 대응 경험을 전 세계와 공유하고 보건 취약 국가에 대한 인도적 지원을 확대할 것입니다. Korea has already announced plans to start vaccinations from February and achieve herd immunity by November. The government and the ruling party is pushing for a major compensation package for small businesses that have been devastated by recent government anti-coronavirus restrictions. The package could include compensation for as much as 70% of sale losses incurred by businesses such as coffee shops and fitness centers. There are, however, concerns that the move would cripple the budget and inflate government debt. Some calculations say under this package, nearly $22.5 billion would have to be paid out every month. There is also potential controversy around who would be eligible, whether you could accurately calculate the losses and if it will be applied retroactively. Already there is demand from individuals like freelancers and contract workers that they also should be included. South Korean veteran actress Yoon Yeo Jung won her 20th award in the U.S. this season for a role in the movie Minari. Yoon was given the Best Supporting Actress trophy by the National Board of Review, greatly enhancing her chances of getting a nod in the upcoming Academy Awards. Minari is a film written and directed by Korean-American filmmaker Lee Isaac Chung, in which Yoon plays a Korean grandmother who comes to a farm in Arkansas to babysit her two grandchildren. If she is nominated for the 93rd Academy Awards in April, Yoon will be the first South Korean actor to get the nod. The Oscar nominations will be announced in mid-March. And those were your top stories. Stay safe, everyone, and remember to subscribe to Korea Now. Sun Jie out.